let's try it. I'm gonna, I'm going blind here. I'm gonna put my glasses on. So let's start. So uh, first email is from Hans, and uh, Hans is having a question in regards to uh, Cam. So we're gonna jump in and out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go through. I don't know as many as we can do here uh, in the next. Uh, I don't know, hour or so. So, uh, first question, I got coffee, I got water, I'm all good. Um, question is about CAM and about setting defaults. So, uh, I never use leave stock material and, um, you know, the extra stock for setups. So, is there any way that you can set that so you don't have to change those parameters all the time? And there is actually options to do that inside of, um, inside of Fusion. So, let me uh, just... So... We are inside of, uh, of Fusion here, um, and uh, I have the new interface. Maybe we'll talk about that at, at some other point. So let's just uh, let's just draw a block up here, and I'm just gonna go ahead here and uh, send a rectangle, maybe right there. Draw a set of rectangle. Let's extrude that up. So all this stuff that we're gonna do in this in this video, we are not going to um, we're not going to to, uh, to, to fully define everything. So, question about CAM. So let's get into uh, the Manufacturer tab here. Click on that. And um, the, well, I think it was the last part of this was about using extra stock for setup. Um, so if you go to the Setup tab here, you get this up here, you can kind of see in the shadow that you get that extra stock. Um, if you go over to the stock area, you will see that it has a relative size stock with extra stock added to it. Inside of Fusion, with any of, um, of these dialog boxes here, you can actually, if you change it to zero, change both of them to zero here, if you right click inside of these, you can say you wanna make it default and then it will remember that. So that's uh, kind of going reverse of your question hands. The, the last question you asked, yes, just go in here and make these defaults. So again, make them zero, right click and just say make default. And I would suggest to do the same thing for um, the stock to leave. So I'm assuming that this is when you're using something like an adaptive clearing, adaptive clearing. We go in here, we select a, um, a tool. Let's go ahead and select an end mill. And uh, we, for example, just uh, go into the, the, the passes tab we have a stock to leave. Now, I don't know of a way, there might be a way, but I don't know of a way where you can make that unchecked. But so what I would just do the same thing. I would just make these two zero and then I will just right click in here and say make default. And then that will do that for, only for adaptive, but it will do it for, um, for um, you know, then when you're doing a 3D adaptive also, that also have an adaptive clearing, then you could do it in there and Eventually, you will go through them and you will get them all uh, all default. And if you change your mind, you can always, again, right-click on them. So instead of making default, you can just say reset to default and then you will get all back to uh, to the original ones. So hope that was, uh, I hope that was was useful there, Hans. So uh, that was, uh, I think that was email, email number one.